Oh, oops, I'm hitting everything here. All right, well, <laughs> welcome back. We are live here from our brand new digs uh, right I here know. off the 56. I'm so really we've just moved into our, our new office just recently. It's still not 100% complete, still waiting for some signage. But uh, if you guys are ever in the area, please stop by the office right off Camino del Sur off the 56 freeway. Um, it's a great location. Yes. So now that we have our office here, we will try to go live more frequently. I know we kind of promised this <laughs> on a monthly basis and we don't always make it. But today uh, we're going to make that promise once again. So, yeah. OK, uh, as we always do, please let us know where you guys are watching from. I got my trusty little banners here. And it, let us know if you can hear the air conditioning running because it's quite loud, at least to us. And uh, we can turn it here. off, although we will melt in here if we turn it off. So <laughs> we, we don't um, want to turn so it off. So if you guys are tuning in, let us know where you're watching from, if you're watching locally or throughout the country or throughout the world. Um, okay, today we're going to talk about a few things, uh, pretty much all San Diego related, as we do on the channel here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the housing markets. Uh, what's going on in the housing market? Are prices going up, going down, staying the same? Time will tell. We'll, yeah. we'll find out. Uh, we're also going to talk about rental prices because rental prices are actually Changing. moving in a direction that I was not expecting. So that was uh, might be good news for some rentals mm -hmm. um, shoppers out there. Uh, we're also going to talk about some new developments coming into San Diego, some uh, some pieces of land changing hands, yep. and all that good stuff. And then we have a big announcement at the end uh, for... Ooh. You know what it is. Yes, yeah. I do. Okay. <laughs> you look you surprised. Yeah. You yeah. I, I do know what it yes. is. Yes. You're right. I do. So uh, without further ado, we'll get right into this. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to, to put them in there. And then we have Mr. Tenme Gong. Forgive me if I pronounced that incorrectly. San Diego resident here. That's great. Where in San Diego? I always like to know. We have uh, SD Ken 858. Watching for power. Very close. By. I heard the the hamburger Hamlet or hamburger factory. Is that what's called? Yeah, hamburger, hamburger factory. factory. Just reopened with new power. owners. So I'm curious if anybody's has tried it. Has it changed much? I heard it's mostly the same, but they've had some different uh, um, just different menu items on the, uh, on the menu. What they so. showed on their Instagram page, uh, it looked delicious. I, I saw know. that little sort of teaser. They got a little, thing that they had. got a little refresh. So I'm curious yeah. to check it out because I have not actually been there. In I quite love some that time, location. So. If you haven't gone to that part of Poway, it is so darn cute and so fun. And it's my favorite part of Poway, old you Poway love, area. You love that. I know. You're going to have to take time. your kids there because you guys always go to the hop stop there, That's right? True. So you're gonna have right, to switch right it down up. the street from uh, the hamburger yeah. factory. Switch it up. Oh, from Rancho Bonacito. That's very cool. Nice. So you're very close uh, by. I'll have to stop by the office sometime. I'm <laughs> so excited. About I really the hope office. they change the look of it. I'm sure, assuming oh. you talk about the hamburger. It needed a refresh. I will agree. Yeah. And I think they did do some painting, is what I heard. I'm not sure how much <laughs> of a refresh they did, but we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, oh, my, my good friend Sam Sansalone. Sounds great. Can't hear the AC. It's dinner time here in Virginia Beach. Okay. Oh, wow. If you guys ever looking to move to Virginia Beach, definitely check out Sam Sansalone's. Uh, I just like saying Sam's name, Sam Sansalone. It's great. It's like it has Sammy, a ring Swami, to it. Samsonite yes. sort of thing. So it has a great ring to it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Okay. So we're going to get into a little bit of the articles that we do here always, and then we'll save the rest of the questions for the end. So thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, okay, first one. Oh, I have to share the screen here too. Hold on a second. I need like a second person to work the just to work the computer just to work while the, you're exactly. That should probably be my job. That would be, and then you can just keep chatting while we could. I. We should get Mike in here. Mike will just do it for us. Oh, yeah, send him over. Okay, is that sharing? Let's see if that is correct. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Um, I lost it again. There we go. Okay, our beaches are shrinking per a report here in uh, San Diego. San Diego County's beach needs beaches need costly sustained replenishment efforts to remain the wide sandy touristy attractions they have been for so long. A uh, new regional study says. So this sort of entails um, really a lot of erosion, of course, which is a natural thing that happens at beaches. But if it if the erosion is um, is too much, too pronounced. Obviously, we they actually have to bring in sand, correct? Yes. So you just build man-made, building the beaches back up. Yes. So the shorelines it's quite the, an undertaking. That does not sound like an easy job to do. No. So no. shorelines in the South Oceanside, South Carlsbad, Lucadia, and Coronado are shrinking fast, according to 2023 yeah. State of the Coast report. So um, obviously, the, our beaches are one of the best things about living here in San Diego. It's a huge so attraction. hopefully that. Uh, 
gets under control. I think I've seen time. them do that before. A couple of years ago at Tory Pines, let me know if anybody else uh, saw this happening because they had, it was like all this fresh sand and where it was usually really washed away, um, where they have that little inlet that goes under the sure. bridge. It was entirely, I mean, there was like a huge sand dune that they had built there. Um, so I feel like they, it's probably something they have to do every couple of yeah. years. I mean, it's mother nature. You can't really control it sometimes too. So yeah. It's true. If it helps, do it. I and uh, what, yeah. let us know what your guys' favorite beaches are in the comments too. Because mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a few favorites of ours, but I always like to see. There's one I haven't really checked out as much as I should. Because yeah. we, we tend to go to the beaches we're most comfortable at. So That's true. Uh, as you can see from our Best Beaches video, we just did not too long That's ago. That's right. Check that video friendly, out. Friendly plug. Vern will tell you <laughs> one of his favorite things about the beaches is when they have good parking. I don't even know if that you is care the as only much thing about the beach, but... Uh, he wants the parking situation to be really easy and accessible. And we can definitely steer you in the right direction for that if that's correct. the type of beach you're looking for. This is correct. Okay. All right. Next report. This one I thought was uh, pretty interesting. Let's see. Is this sharing? Does it go with me as I change? Um, Let's hope so. Uh, I don't know if it changed or not. So I'll share screen in the store. Here it is. Yeah. Okay. And let's change my... So the U.S. Navy to vacate prime San Diego Bay real estate. I thought this was pretty interesting. This is interesting. So th there's a little a Navy building. I guess it's not little. It's, it's huge, relatively actually. large. Yeah. It's almost like a whole block long. It's you can see almost here. three and a half acres. There you go. You actually, waterfront property, that's kind of, that's a Yeah, lot. we actually have a client that bought a condo just down the way from this one, too. Deal will re return the waterfront property opposite P Street, no, B Street Pier, to the port of San Diego and open the door for redevelopment with hotels and public amenities. Um, so they're talking about a few things here. So they're giving, uh, apparently this was always going to happen eventually, but they had mm -hmm. a lease there for they had a hundred year lease. Yeah. And, I and think they're they, vacating. It had 30, was it like 27 years left on it or something like that? Oh. Something crazy. Uh, but they're now giving them $5.75 million. To so the Navy. People are always willing to break a lease if you I give them know. enough money. So, um, and so, so, so this is right there where the cruise ship stopped. Yep. So there's Wyndham so, right there, that little hotel, Wyndham Hotel. And there's Waterfront Park. And then it's right here. And then the ship's coming like right here, right? Yes, exactly. So, I mean, that's where you get your Carnival cruise ships. Do they have the Disney cruise ships that come yep. out of there? Um, so if they were adding some type of hotel or other amenities, I think that that would be a really great location i mean is there a hotel people, right there now they got the window there are some hotels there but i mean right there on the the right there on the waterfront yeah. i'm not sure oh they have the intercontinental some, right here yeah so and i'm curious like how big they will make it because you'll probably block somebody's view if they make it that is true what's, what's right behind that's here that's kind is of the name a, of the game anymore yeah, that's happening right here in our local community they're talking about Yes, building up. right across from our office. They're talking about building seven things stores, up the right. guys. Seven is yeah. What if anybody's talking. in the know on the Merge Fifty Six, not really Merge Fifty Six, but the, the guy that owns the property around Merge Fifty Six, yeah. uh, this guy Keith Rhodes is trying to build a seven-story apartment building that will tower over. You'll be able to see this from space. <laughs> So, <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to that. see it from space, but the yes. surrounding homes around it are only two story homes. So put that in perspective. Correct. There you go. You've got uh, a seven story apartment building next to these two story houses. Correct. Um, but we digress. That's not that's, what's happening not at the Naval Yard. That, yeah. That's just top of mind. I'm going to talk about that right next month because that's our, a bigger, that's going to be in a meeting soon. Yeah. Okay. Once the Navy's lease is terminated, the waterfront land will become an immediate target for redevelopment, probably yeah. a hotel. They're also talking about expanding the waterfront park, which is just next door to there. Oh, I love that. Which would be park. nice to do like a little combination of a hotel slash outdoor space or whatever sure. it is. Because that is a very prime spot on, uh, on the waterfront. It doesn't there. get more prime than that. That's the, you're in the heart. The port master plan update, which is expected to go before the board for approval later this year, makes room for 750 additional hotel rooms in the north Embarcadero uh, area between Ash Street and Broadway. Um, and then they said also envisions more park space. On North, North Harbor Drive, it is extension of B Street to the water, which would be yes. very cool. Yeah. So hopefully that's a nice, I mean, how, how big is 750 hotel rooms? I don't know. Is that big? Uh, I mean, I think that's a fairly good size, right? Yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. Sure. That could be seven stories, right? And you've got, no, that would be a hundred how many rooms, how many on, rooms on a floor? I don't know. I don't know how many and, rooms I mean, are it's on pretty, each floor. It can go pretty wide, too. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we shall see. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can get this. Is this not sharing? It doesn't switch every time. Okay. 
Uh, we are going to do another one, but I have to do this manually each time because I did not set That's it up okay. correctly. Don't worry. Uh, so this is interesting. One in eight San Francisco home sellers is losing money, the highest share in the nation. Mm. Not super surprised by that as San Francisco has been going through some, some troubles. They're but going through some times. But not, uh, well, I'll read this first. San Francisco home sellers are four times more likely than the average U.S. seller to take a loss at the Bay Area Metro Reels from outsized drops in home prices. Yes. Uh, but do you know what the number one city is for the least likely to lose money on a sale? No. Can I give you a hint? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> You're, we're in it right now. It's us? Number one, San Diego. So wow. only 1.1% of homes share uh, sell homes at a loss in San Diego wow. compared to doo -doo -doo -doo, scroll down here. 12.3% chance San in San Francisco. Ooh. And then it's a rough go for them. So it's the le we are absolutely the least likely in the entire country to lose money That's if impressive. you were to sell your house. I mean, really depends on when you bought your house and that sort of thing. But yeah. um, the good news, prices have not dropped here dramatically. Bad news for home buyers. Good news. Yeah, for that's what I mean. It's like good news. Who are you yes, talking about? Yeah, exactly. there's a lot of home buyers that would um, beg to differ there with that one. So I thought that was interesting. This was according to Redfin's studies as well. Okay. Um, what's the scoop on the rent? Oh, yes. This is the rent the next one. Here. Oh, I got to switch my things. I got my stuff. San Diego rents are cooling off. Which I was actually surprised by I this. I am but, so surprised but by not this. not shocked, I guess, because I even noticed this last month when I had a couple of people looking for rentals. That's true. And they're like, there was a, over in our area, there's, mm -hmm. you, you would usually find a 3,000 square foot house that would rent for around close to like $6,000. $6, sure. And one of our friends and clients got a rental for 5,400, yeah. which I almost positive like a year ago would have sold, rented for about And that's 6, even larger than 3,000 square feet, isn't it? That Closer was, to... yeah, that one, the one he got was 3,200, 3,300 okay. square feet. Yeah. So uh, rents have definitely come down, especially in the North County areas that I've noticed just because they went up so much over the last two years that it was probably time for them to come to down a little, bit. a little bit but then you would think maybe home prices would come down but they're really not doing no. that yet no there's there there's, there's not showing the relationship there although this time last year once like october november december hit last year that's when you really saw the bottom of the market i'm curious to see what happens with home prices going into the the winter months when with rates you know seven ish percent Same, sort of yeah um i think you'll see a cooling off on the home price maybe you won't see prices drop but i don't think you're going to see much of a increase in these last quarter of um, 2023. Yeah. But we will see. Let me know if, who's out there house hunting. Do you feel like it's cooled off at all? Or do you feel like the market's still moving pretty good? Mm -hmm. I always like to know what uh, other people are seeing because we, we're out there every week. We see it, but I don't, we're, we don't do all of San Diego sometimes. Right. So we're kind of nestled here. I'd like the scoop North on Chula County. Vista. I'd like Chula the Vista. scoop on um, um, San Marcos. I mean, we'll get up to San yeah, Marcos for a bit, so. but. But yeah, let us know in the comments below. That'd be super helpful. Um, and just so you can see what here, San Diego rents have dropped two months in a row. And it's been a long time since that's happened. August rent dropped point, not, not a lot, 0.4%. Set of real estate tracker co-star to an average of 24, 25 a month. It also went down in July by 0.3%. Interesting. Still a downward Big, trend. And this so. is where it said the biggest yeah. drops have occurred uh, in areas like University mm -hmm. City and several North County cities. Just which is probably Rancho Penasquitas, yeah. perhaps. Mm -hmm. So the rental market is in correction territory after explosive growth during the pandemic. Which was wild. Which was unhealthy for yeah. some. Mm -hmm. San Diego County is not alone in the rent reductions with much of the nation experiencing slowdowns. Nationwide, average rent is down a point or half percent annually, said a, a recent study by Realtor.com. So this is kind of happening throughout the country. Uh, but I, I have noticed it more at the end of this of summer this year. Sure. I need some water. Um, it's from reading the news. It's a lot of news to read yeah. here. I can read the news too. Yes, you can read the news. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let us know if anybody had rented a price, probably pr a home recently, and let me know what uh, your uh, rent was, if you don't mind sharing, because we always like to see which way it's uh, trending in San Correct. Diego. So, okay, let's see. We have it, uh, what, two, three more articles, then we can get to some questions. Oh, I wasn't sharing that screen at all, was I? Okay. They were just watching me. Yeah, they read. were just watching me read watching it. It's even more fun. So, okay, present. Um, which one are we on? Oh, here we go. 
And another sign of is the market might be starting to slow down just a tad here in San Diego. Mortgage demand drops to 27 year low. 27 years is kind of a long time. It is. As interest rates pull back. Uh, the average uh, contract interest rate for 30 year fixed rate mortgages with conforming loan balances decreased to 7.21 from 7.31. Applications for mortgage to purchase a home fell 2%. So everything is trending downwards in that mm -hmm. department. Rates have just continued to, they went up and now they've kind of went down just a touch just recently. But um, that's seven, like once it's over 7% mark, I feel like it really holds people back from buying. Uh, absolutely. And once you see that market trend, I mean, I think 2020, everyone's kind of saying like for the election, rates will probably, yeah. they're trying to keep them high now. And then once the election starts to come around, mm. they try to bring them down to make everyone happy and yep. that sort of thing. Yep. So. Uh, I, th I think they'll probably remain relatively high for the rest of this year and then slowly go down in 2024, but we shall see. And that's the other thing. Like, do you think, would you rather lock in the home price now knowing that rates will probably go down and then sure. if rates and go down, will, will prices go up? Oh yeah. I, that would be what I would assume yes. is that when rates go down, prices will go up. The problem, problem is the affordability, like just being approved for the house that you would want mm -hmm. You have to get, you know, your payments can be quite high. Yes. So that's the, a lot of the problem that people are running right. into now. So. Absolutely. I mean, double what people yeah. were paying. I mean, it's almost they... like triple in yeah. some, some cases, depending yeah. on what price what point you, and yeah. what rate you get. So, Which is wild. Absolutely wild. Just just in, you know, three years span of time. For sure. So. so this has thrown cold water on home prices, which has been rising for much of the year, but much which appear to be easy now yet again. So... Again, it's not super surprising to see prices cool off in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. or I guess we're almost in the fourth quarter um, here in San Diego. But last year, it was a big cool off. And I'm curious to see this fourth quarter. Does it cool off and then it picks up again in the new year? Time will tell. And everyone always wants to know what's your what what do you foresee the the rates being? You know, like you're talking about when the political season sort of changes and we have an election happening. Um, do you feel, I'm sure people ask you that all the time. People yeah. ask me too. I mean, like, what do you think they're going to drop back down to then? Um, which is really hard to make that guess. I know. I, know. I, I thought they would have been much lower than they are right now. Yeah. Uh, but they have not come down. Do you to ever what think they, they'd get over seven? I thought they could get over seven, but now people are saying it's going to go to 8%. So we'll see if it actually reaches that high. But 7% obviously is already occurring. Mm -hmm. And I thought by this time we would already, I thought we would have been into like the low sixes by now. Yeah. But we're still at seven, I know. So. You can look back at uh, all the economists were reporting. And, yeah, reports they all said and... that rates would be between five and six by this time. Mm -hmm. But obviously they've stayed higher for much longer, even right. though inflation has come under, come under control for, for the most part. Um, but then they're always looking at jobs reports and, you know, layoffs and all that sort of right. thing too. So, okay. Let's see what else we have here. Um, okay. That was old one. Okay. Let's see if we have any questions. Uh, if you have any questions for us, feel free to put them in the chat here. Oops. Oh, I got to go through yeah. these. Okay. We already did these. Yeah. Oh, okay. someone. Oh. Harvey Berkowitz from Boca Raton, Formerly Raton, Philly Florida. suburbs. What Philly nice. suburb? I would like to know that. As I would I like am to from know a as Philly well. Have you been suburb? following along? I'm sure you have as the rest of the nation has with the manhunt. Finally. <laughs> they caught him today, right? They right. caught him today yeah. wearing an Eagles sweatshirt. If you don't know, <laughs> Vern and I are both from the suburban areas of Philadelphia well, there. And my sister lives right in media. I know she's not watching this, but if she was, I'd say hi. And her family, they were so frightened. She doesn't watch this? No. no. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. She's in carpool and sports pickup. It's drop seven, seven o'clock already there. She's, I she's know. Out. Probably picking up from a practice. So, wait, how did they catch him? I didn't they hear. caught him. He was hiding under some leaves, under some brush. He had a shotgun. He was for real, actually, in an eagle sweatshirt, which just kind of makes kind me of cackle. Kind of and uh, yeah. I think they just they used like one of those infrared heat seeking um, fixed wing planes oh, okay. that that flies over, and they were able to detect, I believe, a heat signature, and then they were able to find him. Well, there you um, go. And just close in on him, and they they put the dogs on him. Gotcha. So that I was kind I of. I always enjoy a good prison break. <laughs> <laughs> Watching from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Very cool. Oh, I 
lived in Rockville for a while when I was a kid. Seems um, like you've lived a lot of places. I right? only Rockville. lived like <laughs> three places, three, four places. Yeah. Um, San Diego being the fourth place. I mainly lived. head down to Mission Beach, Belmont Park's Giant Dipper is turning 100. 100. Wow. Would you want to go on a roller coaster that is 100 years Seriously, old? Seriously, I actually would. I would love to have that. Maybe we do a video. I would go on that. I know a lot of people say that. They're like, it's so old. It can't it's be safe. Rickety. It's made of wood. They've updated it, obviously. Um, I think they've updated it. I feel safe on that. They restained the wood, maybe. Is that it? Know. He's like two picks now. Basically, like two picks. Uh, like Wind and Sea is sea. my favorite. Oh, it's a your good one. Beach. I love Wind and Sea. I heard that they are building some kind of new structure at Wind and Sea. Um, everybody or people voted on it, I guess. And oh, wait, no, weren't they? Some kind oh, of. Oh, my friend, that's the other thing like I was going to talk about. Um, I forget what it is. If, if you know, Jacob T, let me know. Uh, I think something was just approved. They just all agreed on building some kind of special new structure. Well, aren't they? Uh, this is what I was going to talk about before, but I forgot about oh, it. Oh, we were going to talk about um, the uh, new plans for the pier at Ocean Beach, which has been, um, you know, they've been talking about doing like a total overhaul. And uh, now I think they've just. So this uh, is one of the designs. The options yeah. out there. Yeah. So this is kind of a cool design. You don't see too many piers that look like, like that. Like this. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like how they have the steps there. Can everybody see that? Are you sharing the screen? Yes, I think okay. I have it shared. Yes, yes, I do. Um, so it almost looks like they give you little sort of stadium seats, which is so cool because you always have people lining up on the piers to watch the sunset, to get their pictures, right, as yep. the sun is setting. How nice would it be if you had built in seating that'd be um, very cool where you could just sit and watch the sunset the symbiotic relationship between the remora fish and the sharks that they attach themselves to that's what this the remora you know design what? is for that's what i was gonna say i was gonna say exactly i was that. like this exact this just reminds me of the uh the relationship of the this one's kind of cool too i like this one too it's got the little overhang here too and it's also got steps on this one too that looks really modern and pretty and sleep yeah these are you like know, modern nice day peers i shade. feel like every peer we have here is kind of relatively similar so it'd be yeah. nice to have a little change Ooh, to them yeah and then there's this one is that like oh, two different like a, a dual peer oh this is the one called the braid is that what this is, one's called the a, braid where does it say i get that? it oh yeah, yeah the braid yeah. yeah okay that's, okay that's, that's pretty neat um i can't totally tell what the other oh wait stuff here's a couple photos here. on there there you go let's go up and over it too Oh, look at wow. that. Wow. That's pretty cool. Surf Rider Theater. How neat. You can sit and watch people surf. Do we have any ocean beachers Fishing down surf. there? Do you guys have any preference on these? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's really beautiful. And then How here cool. Nice. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a nice new modern pier yeah. here in San Diego. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, so will they redevelop where Lane Field was? Is that that's right next to the Navy thing down there? Um, um it didn't mention that in the report, at least I mean that's the part that I saw, but possibly I would think they would have to if uh yeah. they're redeveloping it. Who knows? Um Anthony I can't even it? afford a one-bedroom apartment. Yes, the rent here was so what are one bedroom apartments probably going for here in a decent area? Probably I mean they were saying was that, that 20 2400? 20, 2300. Yeah, 24. you could probably get a little bit cheaper than that, but yeah, it's not affordable here, especially for right. you know normal people trying right, to right, right. Unless you've got multiple roommates. Yeah, in I mean your I feel like apartment. especially for young people that just get out of college, I don't know how they afford anything yeah. without having roommates, which is right. probably what a lot of people are doing right. to start. So um, Anthony, do you yeah. live here now? I'm curious to see what uh, what your rent is if you are living here. Yeah. How is the huge development in Seaport area progressing? So they're, I know they're doing revamping all of Seaport. We talked about Seaport Village, um, which we we're actually talking about doing a video on that. Yeah. Soon. So we actually might do that a video on that in the near future. We'll go down and so get look out Seaport for that video. We'll name. get better information for you yeah. after that. So. It's nice, but without a family program, you're a fish out of water. Uh, which one were we talking about there? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Um... <laughs> Mr. Ron Brown, who is uh, will soon be relocating here to uh, San Diego, either San Marcos or Carlsbad. He's not. We're not sure yet, but we're working on it. Ron, good to see you on here. Ernie. He gets very excited. Ernie. <laughs> Hi, Ron. Um, Oh, Holland, Holland PA. PA. Oh, okay. yeah. That's where my, my, some of my cousins live up in Holland PA. Wow, nice. 
Um, oh, Harvey Berkowitz says my kids live in Aeroso. Aeroso, okay, um, very cool. Yeah, that's right. Okay, nice. And also, let's see, what's this next one? Also, like Sandy County Fair. That oh, the Let's Go let's Retro go theme. Retro I saw theme that for 2024. Oh, cool. I think that's really fun. That's an interesting theme. What was the theme for this year? It was... Um, I don't recall, but... I went to it. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I know we came home with, focused on the food. We came home with a goldfish after ah, that. That's that right. Unfortunately, did not last. That's so right. We actually we last like a good month and a half or so, which is long. Which is longer the than life I thought. Of a carnival goldfish. Because my uh, nephew got one, and his only lasted two days. So yeah. you never can tell. You can never can if tell if they're from Hardy Stock or not. Your goldfish. Uh, up north is a lot more affordable. Chula Vista is way too expensive. Oh, interesting. I mean, yeah, I think I've... it depends on where you mean north. Because yeah. Chula Vista and up like northern North County are, you know, they're not both are not cheap. Right. So, um, but I would think North County might even be more expensive than Chula Vista. Yeah. But maybe I'm mistaken as far as rentals go. I guess I'm. I need more of a. Uh, I need more details. Correct. On that. Okay, Carlsbad okays 329 apartments for Aviera Parkway. So I didn't even hear about that one. So that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, and as far as um, the San Diego Fair we're talking about, I heard Kabu, you know, the music Kaboo festival is coming, is coming back, back after a, right. a three-year-long hiatus. hiatus. Back, supposedly back to Del Mar. Um, the fairgrounds, fairgrounds, the racetrack. That's so right. So they had switched and they went downtown and I think it just wasn't as... I don't even think they ever did the downtown because then the, pan the pandemic happened and then they had to cancel I it. I thought they did it downtown once. Maybe they maybe did it not. once. I could be mistaken. Maybe not, but... Um, Has anybody ever been to Kabu? If you have, let us know how it's been because it's, it's supposedly coming back. So. And we are like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from that location. So yes. really, we should be doing that concert. Like, that's, well, what do you mean that's, we should be doing it? Like, we should be to, going yeah. to that. Like, we should, we should be getting be, free tickets well, to concert. Yeah, should, that would be lovely. No but, one gives us anything. I mean, we're so close. That would be an easy one to No to one even to. brings us donuts or anything. Oh my gosh, I know. People could send us. Yeah, you, know, you so can, can like send stuff to the you to can our door new dash it now. to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that myself. I this do that this year myself. was the get out there theme. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. And so it'll be, um, let's go retro. The, I could say that the San Diego Fair is very, very expensive. It is like trying to. We do, talked about that. We went on a couple. Uh, you can get that. There's that one day you can get the all you can ride pass, which is actually probably worth it. But if you yeah. get it like a la carte. It's like more expensive than Disneyland hundreds, going to that thing. Hundreds of dollars, yes. especially if you have a family of. Four I was like or five. shocked at how much it cost. Yeah, to go to the well, San the prices Diego have gone up. They have. It wasn't like that when I first moved here ten years ago. I remember looking, and it being somewhat affordable. And I'm sure. Yes. You know, it's all changed. Okay, this is from Ross W. Do you guys sell, ever sell homes to flippers, investors? I see a lot of the going on in the price and areas we are looking at. Yes, we do. Um, yeah, we sell to all, we do buy and sell for both ends of the, yeah. the spectrum there. Um, what areas are you looking in specifically? We can help you go in the right direction there. Um, can you get 4,500 mortgage in Carlsbad? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think you can get it for, I mean, if you're talking and mortgage is like principal and interest. Yeah. So if you're counting right. principal and interest and taxes, and insurance, a... probably not, but if principal and interest, you could. I mean, also it depends on your down payment, all that sort of thing. I would say it's gonna be harder for houses, townhomes, That's and what condos. I was say townhome, condo, possibly. Um, I know you were potentially looking at townhomes too, but that single-family homes will be very difficult with just like even with like a normal twenty percent down mm -hmm. down payment in Carlsbad. Mm -hmm. San Marcos, you'll have a better chance of it. Um, Carlsbad, the farther west you go, the more expensive it gets. It's kind of a, a rule of thumb it's here just in the San Diego. Yes, That's right. Closer to the water. That's right. More expensive. Are oh. you west of the five? Forty five hundred, fifty five hundred. Um, I still. I mean, it's not Im impossible. I would say not super likely in this current interest rate environment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If rates were to go down, I think it would be much easier oh, too. Definitely. But then prices may go up. That's so right. Um, I would say it's challenging right now. I would say. Yeah. Although, if you're just talking about principal and interest, it might be close to that. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, please let, put them in the chat below. Uh, I wanted to report one more thing here. Our big news here. Let me see if I can get it up. Big exciting news. Huge. Which it is. Okay. It is for us. 
Um, my thing's not presenting. Come on. Here it goes. Uh, there it goes. Okay, so we are bringing back our third annual movie night in the park. Is that third uh, already? This is the third one. So this year it's going to be the Super Mario Brothers. Did I say that right? I always say it wrong. Mario? Mario. Ma Mario. Super Mario Brothers. How do you say Mario? Mario. That's, that's an East Coast thing. So, I'm from the East Coast. Yeah. I say Mario. You've been here longer. Um, <laughs> so this is, uh, we're doing this on October 14th. So all are invited. So if you guys want to uh, partake. Please come visit. I will put the link in the chat here. Um, we haven't really sent this out to everybody yet. So if you want to sign up. Oh, yeah, I'll take that off. Yeah. This is like a wonderful event. Um, we have food. We have entertainment. We have the movie when it gets dark. There's plenty of space um, for everyone to come. Bring your own chairs. Bring your own blankets. Um, there's a playground there. This, if you haven't been to this park, Tory Meadows Park is lovely. It's relatively new. Is that what five, six years? Yeah, old like five-ish now? years old now. Um, and it's um, this is just a really, really fun event. It's nice for us to get to meet people that watch our YouTube videos or people that have moved here to San Diego with the help of our videos or um, past clients that stop by to see us and say hi. And um, you don't have to bring kids if you don't have or want to bring kids. You can just stop by, have something to eat, check out the park, yep. and then be on your merry way. You don't and have, you don't have even to have to them. buy or sell a house with us. You can just come and enjoy don't. it. I know. I said Say people hello. that just watch okay. our videos or people that just live in the community. I will mention parking can sometimes be tight. Yes. So if correct. you live close enough to walk, walk or scooter or ride your bike. But or... there's a lot of street parking there too. So there you, you're is. usually there's able to find parking, parking relatively. Yeah. You just might have to. Do a little bit of a walk to get there. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, hopefully if you guys can make it, that would be great. I just put the link in the chat over to the right. I think it's on the right on your guys' side. So mm -hmm. feel free to sign up if you'd like to join us. And we'd love to see you there. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. I like that. Um, oh, Ron's uh, is talking. Let's see. Townhouses where? In Carlsbad. In Carlsbad. Yeah. Um, I mean, Ron, we'll talk. We talk all the time. I'll tell you right after after the chat. We'll I'll chime in more after that. So, in um, Carlsbad, we'll talk about. Oh, that. look, uh, SD Ken eight five eight says, "I just wanted to say I really enjoy the channel. It gives me ideas on prices, mortgages, rents, new developments, etc. I really appreciate you two working hard to bring updates to San Diego and San Diego County. I'm so glad you like it. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. That, that That's means nice. a lot. And then let us yeah. know if there's any uh, things you guys, well, new videos you guys want to see. We're always looking to put out videos that you guys actually want yes. to watch and see. Right. So people if you want to see. Us, some people were, yep. somebody asked for like a 55 and up community video. I know, we need to do that one. I would love to yes. do that one. Um, and we have, and there's even some new construction, um, being built that's 55 and up, right. Or yep. active adult community. The junipers over the in junipers, Rancho Penasquitas right? is going on. Um, so I, I love when people give us ideas for videos or, you know, even branch out and do like the, the food videos where they say, can you do the, your top three favorite taco places or well know. they just announced there were seven uh pizza places in san diego that were that's the right. best pizza places in all of california that's right which is really um so surprising maybe me we'll take tried all i know seven of i've only places. i think i've tried five of the seven i've not tried them all but maybe we'll take the top like four and do yeah, like a little video a review of that one but, but you're pretty easy to please with pizza there's well, not that much it's that... still pizza even bad pizza even bad is not, pizza's not bad a pizza still pretty so. good pizza that's true and let us know what your guys favorite pizza place if there's a pizza place i've not tried yet i would like to know about it mm. we have a few of i have a few favorites in the my general vicinity but i would yeah. like to branch out and try other ones throughout uh our fair city here yeah san diego uh any updates on the ocean camp project in oceanside i don't as of this moment but we could definitely find out for you Maybe we could do a little little video. Yeah. We're gonna start doing some uh, YouTube shorts in the, in the future, and just like little th little videos mm -hmm. like that probably don't need a you know ten minute video on. So we'll try to do stuff on that like on new construction projects, but just like one off type things. Yeah. So look out for those in the near future, um, and we'll go from there. Oh, here's one. Hey guys, are there any cities or towns that are further inland that are somewhat affordable compared to the popular areas that are closer to the water? And is a decent place to live. So I just showed properties up in Fallbrook very recently. Mm. Um, actually, Ron, you might even want to check out this area. Um, 
because you're if your wife has to go up to Marietta Temecula area, I forget the name of the um, who was the builder. I think it was Meritage Homes, I think. And that's in Fallbrook. It's in Fallbrook. Homes were beautiful homes up from like, I think they're around 2,000 to 2,900 square feet, all for like 900 or less. Okay. Beautiful single family homes. So Fallbrook is just um, a little further north than Escondido, if you're familiar with that area. So yeah, what is it, like 15 minutes past Escondido? Yeah, give just or take. about that. And um, let me see um, here. I'll look it up. Keep talking. So it's south of Temecula trying to give people sort of a uh, grasp. It's on the uh, west side of the 15 as well as the east side. So you can get, you know, from the, if you feel like it's too hot on the east side, you could look for a oh, home I on the this. on the west side. Um, Fallbrook is really nice. I was even going to say, I know you're gonna you're gonna share your information about Fallbrook, yep. but even Escondido, you yep. could find, you could definitely find under a million you could find homes um, in Escondido that are just, you know, a little ways away from San Diego city center, if that's even a thing for you, but um, still pretty affordable. Okay. I found it. Okay. Found it. Tangelo. Okay. So it was TriPoint homes and there's Citro is the name of the community, but then they have like four different neighborhoods in the okay. area. So this one is called Tangelo and the price from the, the 800s. Nice. To so find a single family home before, between 2,400 to 2,800 yeah. square feet. Yeah. Yes, you're going to be a little farther out, but you could still probably be, so if you're in Fallbrook trying to get to the closest beach would be, what, Oceanside, Carlsbad probably. Yeah. You're probably looking at 30, 35, 40, 40, 40 minutes 40 probably. Minutes, yeah. So you could still have how far access to all of San Diego. It's just going to take yeah. you a little bit farther. But there are some like nice view homes here. Um, it yeah, was you, like just off the freeway, but you, from where it was, you couldn't actually hear the freeway. You can get um, some elevation. You can definitely get elevation yeah. in Fallbrook that give you some really beautiful views. Um, Valley Center, we should also mention. Yep, There's Valley a Center. lot of new construction in Valley Center, a little bit lower with the price points, and you can get kind of a, a larger lot if you're interested in that at all um, than what you might find in, um, you know, closer to San Diego County. For sure. So I would check out that it's called Citro by TriPoint Homes. Here, I can put this in the in the chat here in case you want to check that out. Yep. Oops. There we go. So I would check that because that one is, you're not going to find too many neighborhoods less than 600,000 for single family. I mean, you can find some resold homes in certain areas if you sure. want to go east, like East yeah. County, like Santee um like el cajon idea. yeah that sort of area you might be able to find some stuff between like six and eight but below six it's, there's not a ton for single family homes uh and see, there you go so hopefully that helps yes. yep okay stop screen oh okay um i have you both tried chicken charlie's in i Richard actually Art. have not i've I driven by it a million times every time i drive by i'm like why is it called chicken charlie's i'm assuming the guy is named charlie that started it then what's chicken charlie's it's Charlie's chicken, you know. Then why isn't it Charlie's chicken? Why is it chicken? Because it Charlie's? gets you to talk about it. Or right is here, his so. name? Is the chicken's name Charlie? Oh, maybe. And he maybe. just goes by Chicken Charlie. I'd love to know. I am not. Do you? I would do you love like it? to try it. It's like Chicken Charlie's Table or something. The name, which always I would love to know what the name is. Oh, about. then this is another food. I always thought like talking about food. So uh, there's Grub Burger and Carmel Mountain Ranch. Oh, right. That was just turned over to a new owner and now it's to be called The Stand, which The Stand is a, another burger joint up in Los Angeles, which I actually used to frequent so a quite chain. a bit when I lived up in Los Angeles. It it's, was actually, a chain. it's a chain, yes. And so this is Grub Burger, which was right by Home Depot. Correct. Right um, in Carmel Mountain yeah, Ranch, right, right in the heart the, over there too. In the center of All the hamburger news. We have the hamburger factory and now yeah. we have Grub Burger, so... Um, so let us, and then uh, the stand opens on reopens on Friday, so look out for that. Wow, that's quick. That's if quick any of you guys live her. in the Carmel Mountain Ranch area, yeah. Okay, a um, few more questions here, and then we will be on our way. All this talk of hamburgers are making me hungry. <laughs> and chicken Charlie. And chicken Charlie. Oh, my computer's free to me. We second what, what SD can just said. said. <laughs> oh, thanks. No, he's Thank you. nice. Yeah, I appreciate that. Was that. So nice. Thank you. Um, Sarath, so any nice. reason we are seeing some pricing pressure in other cities like Austin, but San Diego only seems to be increasing. 
Well, San Diego is just a better place to it's live. It's just not Austin. <laughs> yeah, San Diego's not um, Austin. I yeah, I've heard about Austin quite a bit. I'm not sure why that's happening. I we, I mean, I only really follow the San Diego market, mm -hmm. so it's hard for us to speak too much about other cities. Yeah. Um, Austin had quite an influx though when the they pandemic did they had happened. a huge influx of people. people um, there were there. a lot of people going there. I just I I mean I don't actually have never been to Austin so I can't even tell you. I, have, I actually would pretty, like to go visit. Cool. I, I think it's you seemed, would like it. It's a, a very lot. cool town. There's a lot of food. But like I think San Diego is always going to be attractive to people. Yeah. Going forward, um, we have the one of the, some of the best climate in the entire country. Exactly. We have the best beaches. We yep. also but now we also have companies coming here like tech jobs. Right, so, so we right. have Qualcomm. And, we have Apple. We have into it right down the street from yeah. here, Amazon, uh, Google, Amazon. Here, yeah. So it's just before then, we didn't have those, like 10 years ago, we had, maybe we had Qualcomm, Qualcomm sure. uh, which we still have Qualcomm, but yeah. I'm just saying now we have many more opportunities for jobs, which unfortunately is bringing up the prices here quite a bit. Yeah. In San also the, the schools, the consistency yes. of the schools, um, they are also consistently building new schools with the influx of, um, of more residents that are coming here for those jobs. There's a brand new school just down off the 56, that Pacific trails, not Pacific trails, Pacific trails. It's um, sky or something. Sky. Pacific sky, Pacific sky. Pacific yeah, sky. Right. Um, I mean, they are, you know, they're trying to keep up with the, the demand here and the schools, I believe just continue to be, um, Pretty good. They might have to add a school around here if they're adding all this housing over here, oh, but that's, man. that's for another day. We'll talk about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> It's just, I'm just waiting for my guys. Ah, I, I feel like we haven't seen the Spaniard in quite some time. Been? I hope he's all right. I know. Spaniard, if you're watching this later, can you just chime in to make sure we know you're still still yeah. around? If you guys yeah. don't know, Spaniard is a frequent watcher of our channel. And uh, <laughs> he, he gives us a, he keeps us on our toes. He does. And I have not heard from him quite some time. Yeah. So I'm a little worried mm. about his well being. Mm -hmm. So please let us know. Uh, it okay, not too bad. I'm telling right. you, this was a beautiful neighborhood. It's right. just a the only downside is it's just a little farther removed. north. It's yes. a little bit removed. But if you don't but mind, some people really community. like that. Some of my best friends live in Fallbrook, and once I'm up there, I just think it's beautiful. And is he in Bonsall? Fallbrook, or Bonsall? No, they're Fallbrook. Oh, Fallbrook. And okay. it's um, 30 minutes from my house, which is right off the 56, all the way up to all the way, but up the 15, it is 30 minutes door to door, which is really not bad. Only 30 minutes? Only, I promise. Oh, okay. I promise you. With no traffic. With no traffic, yes. With no traffic, yeah. Okay. Uh, says, thanks. You gotcha. Uh, you need to go to Chicken Charlie's. Make a video. And you'll she still didn't that. tell me. Oh, okay. He says, like, posted. Oh, he there says, you go. Charlie is the founder and owner. He's a nice guy. Is he the chicken? Is, it is based, he a chicken is or is Charlie, it just chicken? Is it based out of San Diego, Charlie's chicken? Or Chick Chicken Charlie. Chicken Charlie, sorry. See? Is it based out of San Diego? He I think this knows. is the only one. It's not a... I thought I saw more than one of these, unless I'm mistaken. I, maybe I'm thinking of a different place. I don't place. think so. Okay. I'm going to look this up. Um, I, but I have not tried it. Now I'm going to go try it. So, Let's Ken, you wanna, if you want to join us, let us know. We'll, yeah. We'll okay. Chicken, you can tell us what to get. I hope it's not, <laughs> I hope it's not fish at Chicken Charlie's. Um, all right. I think that is all the questions we have for today. I thought I had one more thought I wanted to bring up and I forget what it was. You brought up your movie night. Yes. You, you brought up the, uh, the burger place switching. Okay. Well, we'll bring it up on the next one. Okay. Oh, let, let us know. We're going to try to do these lives every two weeks now and let us know what day or time works better. Okay, uh, so we can, I mean, we had a good turnout here today, but yeah. um, we might either do Tuesdays or Wednesdays evenings. So let us know what day would be better for that. Um, that would be fantastic. Ken, oh, let one us last know. Thing. Chicken Charlie's, Charlie's is in I Arby, I knew there Belmont was a couple Park, more. Okay. Grossmont, and Del Mar Fair. Wait, where in Del Mar Still Fair? Didn't... Oh, Sp Spaniard. Oh, my God. He's here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Have you just, do you just watch quietly and don't say anything anymore? <laughs> really upset about it. But I'm, I'm so glad, glad that you're well. I'm glad, I'm glad, that, that, I'm glad well. that he's also drinking his wine. So that's also good. So I good love that. to hear from you, Spaniard. Um, we will let you know when the 50% discount comes around, although we may that. no longer be alive when that happens. <laughs> so <laughs> all right, guys. Spaniard, you just made my day. I'm so I was worried. For I think a you second. made Kelvin's right. day over there. <laughs> Kelvin, Kelvin's Kelvin still here. watching. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys again in two weeks. Bye. Bye.